Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com. Yesterday I made a video about this document from the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, a climate of extreme weather events. This document was full of misinformation and I'm going to elaborate a little bit more in this video. They showed this graph of record temperatures in the United States beginning in the 1950s. It created the appearance that the number of record highs in the United States is increasing. But instead of beginning the graph in the 1950s, let's look at the complete data set for the United States. The weather in the United States was a lot more extreme prior to the 1950s with lots more record highs and record lows. They were hiding a lot of critically important data in order to misinform their readers. Then they had this graph of the number of 1995-like Chicago heat waves beginning in the 1970s and projecting them out to the end of the century. They projected a huge increase in the number of heat waves due to the burning of fossil fuels. Now let's compare their graph to the actual data from the U.S. government. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the number of very hot days in Illinois over the past five years was at a record low. In fact, the number of very hot days in Illinois is down by 95% since the 1930s. And the number of very warm nights in Illinois has also declined sharply. The Center for Climate and Energy Solutions graph for Illinois is completely fake. It has no scientific or historical basis. Now let's look at their projections for the United States. They're predicting a huge increase in the number of 90 degree days in the United States due to the burning of fossil fuels. But the reality is that the number of 90 degree days in the United States has declined sharply since the 1930s, with recent years being among the lowest on record. Same thing's true with the number of 95 degree days. The past five years have been among the coolest on record. And if you don't believe my graph, you can see exactly the same thing for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I make my graphs using their data, so it's not surprising our graphs are very similar. Once again, the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions map is completely fake. It has no scientific or historical basis. Next, they have a graph of U.S. wildfires beginning in 1983. Let's take a look at why they began their graph in 1983. We can see a more complete data set in the U.S. Forest Service National Report on Sustainable Forests from 2010. They show that there used to be a lot more burn acreage in the United States, with the lowest year being 1983. The Center for Climate and Energy Solutions is once again misinforming the readers by hiding critically important data. Now let's look at their propaganda about drought. They showed this photograph of trees dying at my hometown of Los Alamos, New Mexico. The photographs were taken during the very bad drought of 20 years ago. New Mexico just had a very wet summer with some parts of the state receiving more than 20 inches of rain. Albuquerque experienced near record rainfall. We were in Los Alamos two weeks ago and everything looked extremely green. In the year 2000, the U.S. Forest Service started a very bad fire near Los Alamos. But the burn scar has filled in nicely with a spectacular grove of aspen trees. The church's peaks, where I worked as a wilderness ranger 40 years ago, were already covered with snow. When I was a small child, I used to go to summer day camp a few miles west of Los Alamos. That area burned during another fire in the year 2011. But once again, that burn scar has filled in with a beautiful grove of new aspen trees. The forest is healthier and more beautiful now than it was when I was a child. Decades of man-made fire suppression had left the forest very overgrown with huge amounts of fuel on the ground. These fires were inevitable. New Mexico regularly cycles between wet periods and dry periods. It's been doing this for a very long time. The Center for Climate and Energy Solutions took their photograph of Los Alamos during the turn of the 21st century drought. But the climate is cyclical and always has been, and it has nothing to do with the burning of fossil fuels. These people are trying to sell fake energy solutions to solve an imaginary climate crisis. The core of their marketing plan seems to be misinforming the public through incomplete statistics and scientifically baseless projections about the future. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this climate energy superstition for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokinupla on the web at realclimatescience.com.